Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was sometimes seen in the news. The Biligiri Ranga Swami Temple Tiger Reserve is located in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala or Maharashtra. The correct answer is option B, Karnataka. Recently, the Forest Department of Karnataka has started collecting entry fees from private and goods vehicles entering the state through the Kali, Bandipur, Nagarhol and Biligiri Ranga Swami Temple Tiger Reserves. It is located in Jamarajnagar district of Karnataka state. This unique biogeographical habitat is in the middle of the bridge between the western and eastern ghats in South India. The Tiger Reserve derives its name from Biligiri, the white rocky cliff which has a temple of Lord Vishnu locally known as Ranga Swami. The major forest types of the reserve are Southern Tropical Evergreen Forest, Southern Tropical Semi-Evergreen Forest and Southern Tropical Moist Deciduous Forest. The carnivores of the habitat include Tiger, Leopard, Wild Dog, Lesser Cat and Civet Cat. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding protection of children from sexual offences, that is POXO Act. 1. The management or staff of a hospital, whether government or private, comes under the ambit of the Act. 2. It does not include pornography offences. 3. It has a minimum of 7 years imprisonment for penetrative sexual assault. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only 1, only 2, all 3 or none? The correct answer is option B, only 2. Recently, the Karnataka High Court has said that the doctors must strictly comply with law on reporting POXO offences. The Act includes whoever being on the management or staff of a hospital, whether government or private, commits penetrative sexual assault on a child in that hospital. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is a detailed legislative act to safeguard children from a range of possible offences such as sexual abuse, sexual misconduct and pornographic materials. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It provides stringent punishments for those convicted of child sexual abuse such as a minimum of 7 years imprisonment for penetrative sexual assault to life imprisonment and fines. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is the World Day Against Child Labor is observed on which of the following? 10th June, 11th June, 12th June or 9th June? The correct answer is option C, 12th June. The International Labour Organization launched the first World Day Against Child Labour in 2002. This step was taken to highlight the plight of children engaged in child labour. It is observed annually on 12th June. This World Day Against Child Labour on June 12, 2023, ILO is calling for reinvigorated international action to achieve social justice, universal ratification of ILO Convention No. 138 on minimum age and the effective implementation of the Durban Call to Action. The Durban Call to Action was adopted at the 5th Global Conference for the Elimination of Child Labour in 2022. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following countries. 1. Montenegro 2. Bulgaria 3. Slovenia How many of the above given countries borders Serbia? Only 1, only 2, all 3 or none? The correct answer is option B, only 2. Recently, the President of India and her Serbian counterpart agreed to set a target for bilateral trade from the present 320 million euros to 1 billion euros by the end of the decade. The President of India was on a three-day state visit to Serbia from the 7th to the 9th of June. Serbia is a landlocked country in the West Central Balkans. Bounding the country to the West are the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Slavonian region of the Republic of Croatia. Serbia adjoins Hungary to the North, Romania and Bulgaria to the East, North Macedonia to the South and Montenegro to the Southwest. Kosovo, which Serbia does not recognize as an independent country, lies to the south as well along the northeastern border of Albania. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is, in which of the following cities the first round table joint meeting between India and New Zealand took place recently? Christchurch, New Delhi, Auckland or Bangalore? The correct answer is option B, New Delhi. Recently, the first roundtable joint meeting between India and New Zealand with the industry and industry associations of both the countries took place in New Delhi. The discussions focused on taking forward the objectives of the Joint Trade Committee formed under the Bilateral Trade Agreement of 1986. Some of the areas discussed included promotion of Unified Payment Interface or UPI system, 
कार्बन क्रेडिट कोऑपरेशन इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन थ्रू सेक्टोरल अरेंजमेंट्स फैसिलिटेशन ऑफ पैकेज प्रपोजल ऑन कीवी फ्रूट्स ट्रांस शिपमेंट हब टेक्नोलॉजिकल कोलैबोरेशन कोऑपरेशन इन वर्क वीजा एंड बैंकिंग आइडेंटिफाइड एज टेंटेटिव एरियाज ऑफ कोऑपरेशन दे ऑफर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द कन्वेंशन ऑन द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ माइग्रेटरी स्पीशीज ऑफ वाइल्ड एनिमल्स वन इट इज एन एनवायरमेंटल ट्रीटी अंडर द एजीज ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस एनवायरमेंट प्रोग्राम टू इट वॉज साइंड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉट टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू Recently the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals has released a landmark report aimed at addressing a major threat to marine species noise pollution. The report published by the CMS suggested that the noise pollution is causing significant disturbance to the marine wildlife including migratory species protected under the CMS. The CMS also known as Bonn Convention is an environmental treaty under the aegis of the United Nations Environment Programme. Hence statement 1 is correct. It was signed in 1979 hence statement 2 is correct it provides a global platform for the conservation and sustainable use of migratory animals and their habitats therefore option C is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding tapi pipeline one it includes tajikistan afghanistan pakistan and india two it is being developed with the help of asian development fund three it originates from the galkainish gas field How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently in an effort to speed up work on Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan and India, Tapi Gas Pipeline Project Pakistan Turkmenistan signed joint implementation plan. Hence statement 1 is not correct. The Tapi project is being funded by the Asian Development Bank which is also acting as transaction advisor for the development. Hence statement 2 is correct. The Tapi gas pipeline project aims to bring natural gas from the Galkainish gas field in Turkmenistan. Hence statement 3 is correct. The proposed route is the supply source Herat, Kandahar, Chaman, Zob, DG Khan, Multan and Fazilika with a pipeline length of 1849 kilometers. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news Amrabath Tiger Reserve is located in Telangana Andhra Pradesh Karnataka or Tamil Nadu the correct answer is option A Telangana Recently 10 tiger cubs have taken birth in the Amrabath Tiger Reserve it is located in the Nagar Kurnool and Nalgonda districts in the southern part of Telangana It is one of the largest tiger reserves in India the hilly terrain of this tiger reserve with deep valleys and gorges forms the catchment of the Krishna river major wild animals found are tiger leopard wild dog indian wolf indian fox rusty spotted cat small indian civet sloth bear honey badger wild boar etc therefore option a is the correct answer next question is recently astronomers have discovered two new millisecond pulsars that is msp using which of the following telescopes the himalayan chandra telescope devsthal telescope Vani Bappu telescope or giant meter wave radio telescope the correct answer is option D giant meter wave radio telescope recently pune based astronomers have discovered two new millisecond pulsars that is rotating neutron stars using an indigenously developed novel technique the technique was applied during an ongoing sky survey conducted by the giant meter wave radio telescope operational since early 2000 the gmrt located About 80 km from Pune city is the world's largest radio telescope operating in low radio frequency. It is owned by the TIFR National Center for Radio Astrophysics Pune. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Next question is which of the following best describes the concept of first loss default guarantee as allowed by the Reserve Bank of India a guarantee provided to lenders for the entire amount of potential losses arising from borrower defaults a mechanism that reduces the interest rates on loans for borrowers with a high credit rating a risk mitigation arrangement where lenders are protected against the initial portion of potential losses from defaults or a mandate requiring lenders to write off the entire loan amount in case of borrower default the correct answer is option c a risk mitigation arrangement where lenders are protected against the initial portion of potential losses from defaults 
Recently, the Reserve Bank of India has allowed default loss guarantee, a safety net arrangement among banks, non-banking finance companies and lending service providers, popularly known as fintech players, in the digital lending space. DLG is also known as First Loss Default Guarantee. FLDG is an arrangement whereby a third party such as financial technology fintech player LSP compensates lenders if the borrower defaults. It provides a guarantee to lenders such as banks or financial institutions for the first portion of potential losses arising from defaults on loans or credit facilities. This arrangement aims to encourage lenders to extend credit to borrowers who may have a higher risk of default. By absorbing the initial losses, the guarantee enhances the lender's confidence in extending credit to higher risk borrowers. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Last question is consider the following statements regarding the Har Ghar Jal scheme. 1. It was announced in the Union Budget 2019-20. 2. Its objective is to provide functional tap connection that is FHTC to every rural households. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, a WHO report highlighted the significant impact of Har Ghar Jal program on public health and economic savings in India. The Union Finance Minister announced Har Ghar Nal Se Jal initiative as a vital component of the Jal Jeevan mission during the 2019-20 Union budget. Hence, statement 1 is correct. This initiative focuses on bringing piped water supply to every home, promoting accessibility to clean and portable water for all rural households. It's one of the objectives is to provide functional tap connection to every rural household. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now, it's time for the practice question. The International Archives Day is observed on which of the following? 9th June, 10th June, 11th June or 8th June? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.